Thank you guys for coming. <laughs> I can get dressed and get on out of here. My watch, why is uh, Matt Harrison, why has he been so good on the road? I mean, recently his numbers are, are pretty spectacular when he's away from Arlington. He's been good at home too, but his ERA, the last four starts, is like 1.6 on the road. Can you pinpoint something or anything like that? Um, no, I can't. Uh, I guess that's, that's a form of consistency. That, uh, I don't know him. You think he's maturing? Yeah, he is maturing. Um, because he pitches his way out of trouble now. How do you feel about how Scott Feldman and Darren O'Day have been doing in their rehab? Do you think that they're close to coming back? Well, I think all of them down there on rehab is close. Um, the next time Feldman take the mound, uh, he gets himself to getting over 100 pitches. And uh, O'Day went one in the third last night, and no problem. So, you know, they all are getting close. We just is, haven't made a call yet. Is there any conversations about O'Day being activated, or do you think he will pitch, continue to pitch on rehab? No, um, he didn't. We haven't had a conversation about that yet, but uh, don't hold me to me saying that, because it could change. Good chance that you will. Will what? Pitching out down there or be accurate? Yeah, it's not going to happen while we're here. Thanks, Michael. Sir, let's go pitch one more time at least on rehab. If, 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 if that's tomorrow, he will. He won't be here tomorrow. I mean, Thad said just so you guys are playing. The original plan was to keep him out until the All Star break. Is that still and nothing changed with me on the original plan? I would say we haven't had any conversation on, on it yet. Um, but every time he takes the mound down there, he's doing better. Like I said, it could change. Or it could stay the same. Um, just haven't had any conversation on it yet. We wanted to try to get him to pick up an out in an inning and then do his own inning, and that's what he did last night, and he did it well. Didn't get tight, didn't get... 21 pitches, uh, I think three strikeouts, no runs, did a good job. And uh, supposedly came in with runners on second and third, struck out a right-hander in that one um, that one third of an inning. So, but the, I mean, that, was there some concern that you know, if you finish off an inning and had to sit, that it's, it's, and that's it's, why we try everything we can to make sure that when we bring O'Day here, he's ready to go. Is there, is there any other realistic test that you feel like he needs to uh, pass other than just you know, getting better? Getting better is the main test. But I mean, in terms of you know, back-to-back -back days and sitting through and a bat, all that stuff. There's nothing else on that kind of level that he's got to do. No, he's still on target for tomorrow or maybe Friday? Yeah. Tomorrow or Friday. You're right. We took BP today. It went well. He's going to take BP with us today out there when we go out there, and then we'll make a call. Um, well, he can play. Whether he play tomorrow or not, I'll decide that uh, tomorrow. In, in general, what would that decision come down to? Me deciding whether I want to give him another day now that he's ready to go. That's all. Maybe he's getting Wally pipped. <laughs> <laughs> He said, as long as they're winning, he won't, it's keep him on the bench. I said, but y'all ran off 13-14 last year. He goes, all right. What'd you say, T? The guy, the guy playing short so now hasn't been doing too bad. He can play. Uh, and Napoli is going to go out and play tomorrow night? Yes. He will play tomorrow night. Yes. Uh, he's going to catch Feldman tomorrow. Catch seven? Catch Feldman. Catch Feldman. Hey Ron, Mike Sudalter with the Klein Sun. Mm -hmm. I just have a real quick question. We're just doing a hometown story on uh, David Murphy. Like from Klein. With the writers, okay? Ask him at the end. Okay. okay. 
that Napoli is going to catch Feldman tomorrow. Mm -hmm. it's, he's still one for four games to come out on Monday. Yeah. Is he going to catch the whole game on? He's ready to go. Yeah, he's ready to go. I think he'll catch, he'll play first, he'll catch, and then he'll DH. He'll catch 90 tomorrow? Yeah. Well, it's going to be up to him. Feldman only going seven. So if he decides that after he finished with Feldman, he don't want to go anymore, that'll be fine with me. But knowing Mike, he's going to stay up in that for the long haul. But it'll be catch, first base, catch, DH. Wash, do you expect that um, every time for the rest of the year that you might need a left-handed pinch hitter that C.J. Wilson is going to without be a base volunteer? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. He'll be my first left-hander off the bench. He's gonna be he's gonna be in your face constantly, isn't he? Don't quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you when you hand over the lineup card for the All Star game in Arizona, what would it mean for you to have Josh Hamilton's name on that? Well, it, it would mean that he's uh, once again uh, being the outstanding player that he is, and uh, being a Texas Ranger. That means a lot not only to me, but to his teammates and to the community and everything. I mean, Josh is one heck of a player, so. Um, do you think he, do you think even though he missed six weeks, he still had an all-star caliber first half? For me, he has. For the little time that he's played and what he's done, uh, for me, he has. What would lead you to say that? Get his numbers. But he played 30 something ball games? 40, 40 something 40, ball games? 42 games, 36 RBS. And what, 9 or 10 homers? 8, eight, eight homers, eight 36 RBS. Okay. 36 RBS? 42 games. Is he back above 300? 297. He's the reigning MVP. And um, the little amount of games he's played, he's producing. And I think that's what the fans want to see.